What's up guys, this is uh, Triton with Crazy Train and then this is a good friend of mine, Jason. We're here to talk a little bit more about the Fuel Tech electronic fuel injection today. So, this motor, we're uh, having a little bit of an issue getting it to idle. It runs a little different than that motor. It's got more vacuum, so it's, it's just been a constant battle. So Jason's gonna walk us through what, what, what we're doing here. And why we're doing it, yeah, too, right? Why we're doing it. <laughs> yeah, I guess first thing, um, a lot of people are apprehensive on the EFI, um, but the, the reality of it is it's, it's here to stay. It's the future, it's technology. It's, we're able to do more things with the engines now than mechanically fuel injected ever was possible. The tuning capabilities are far superior, um, almost overwhelming at times, but the trucks will run better, idle better, use less fuel, performance will be better. And everything and as far as what Triton was saying about the idle um, you know obviously engines require different amounts of air and fuel to idle at different temperatures so we've kind of made a variable needle valve so that Triton manually um, in the seat when it's cold especially when he goes out to wintertime events can give it more air at idle to get the truck to idle properly and then close it as it heats up so that's what we've got going on tonight here at the shop and we're gonna give it a whirl can you show me where all this is located so, I mean, as far as the EFI goes, so you'll see on each side of the, the blower hat are four injectors, eight in total. Um, we can program at different boost levels, at different RPMs, how much fuel they inject. We have oxygen sensors in each bank that tell us how rich or lean each side of the engine is, and we can tune accordingly. Um, throttle position sensors um, that when he gets into a, a, a jump and nails the throttle quick and has a big percent change in throttle, gives it additional fuel. We obviously are individual coil packs, um, smart coils, so they'll vary the voltage to the spark plug at different boost or vacuum levels. Um, and that's what just some of the things that make the engine more efficient and hopefully produce more power. Can try and control any of this from the driver's seat itself? So what we're able to do is load in the ECU three individual maps that he can change on the fly if conditions warrant, if he doesn't like the way possibly a new tune-up that I send him when he's across the country. I don't like that. There's always a default tune in it that he knows and he likes. So it's a constant change with us, you know, working on to get the trucks to perform the best we possibly can. And sometimes there's two steps forward or two steps backwards to take one step forward. Isn't that right, yeah, Triton? Yeah, especially with uh our first event's going to be in Nashville, Tennessee, which I'm assuming is going to be 40, 50 degrees, hoping. And then we go right to uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So who knows what the weather's going to be like there. Very cold, so the engines are going to run totally different. It's going to be a big difference. Yeah, so that's what we're kind of uh, preparing for is the different changes in temperature is hopefully get the engine to run the exact same every time. Well, thank you both for your information, and welcome aboard to our crazy team. Thank you. Thanks.